We'll call the meeting to order. It's six o'clock. Meeting of Copley Trust. Do you know if Dick's going to be here tonight? Actually, I talked to him last week and he said he was going to be here. Okay. So I never knew about it. It's not my responsibility. <laughs> it is Victoria. <laughs> Come on, I thought you two were like this all the time. Well, you jumped off that ship off the plane. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Do you want to start or you do you want to uh, move it back a little bit and do some other things? I think you could start it. I think if he was coming, I think we could do it. Okay. I'll make a motion to go into the copper truck. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. First is approve the minutes of 218 2020. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Minutes are passed. Now, number two, finalized dog park funding request. Do you want to talk about that, Tricia, or Sarah, or both of you? Well, we came before you three months ago. Right. For dog park, the, um, the fencing, the entryway, the waste basket, um, the water, the water getting water over there. Really, it hasn't changed much since the game. It's their 90-day follow-up. Yep. I haven't heard any comments otherwise. So. Does anybody on the board have a, any comments about it? Gloria, you have any comments? Now, do we still need a motion for this? I make a motion to approve the $17,000 amount in the copy of trust fund to the big building. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is passed. Do we have any other business? Hey. Go ahead, Dan. I just know that one of the things that Dick wanted to talk to the board about yet for $60,000 setting in cash. And he wanted you know, to kind of get consensus from the board for some of that. that you know, if, at least to a money market that could take it out of cash where it's not earning any money whatsoever. So, you know, I, of course, we knew we had this $70,000 sitting there. So, he asked to actually remind him to talk about that. So is that on top of the seventeen thousand? Sixty total, sixty to six somewhere in that total. Then there was the seventeen thousand. Well, minus the seventeen thousand dollars that you were going to spend, and there's no other pending application or anything out there on it. So. Makes sense to me. We went to a money market or somewhere we get some interest. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just right now. Yeah. <laughs> so do we want to leave theory? All the work in the cash ten thousand there? I think they usually does. He just felt like that. Was a large amount to say just that cash. Is forty thousand an appropriate amount to put into the money market? Sounds like it to me. Yeah, you do understand they're paying nothing. Quarter of a percent maybe there you can talk more you Yeah, it's but. not very much. I know that um anytime I talk to John Newland right. about the town funds and subsidies and stuff that have come up. He keeps doing the minimal amount, like a month CD or three months CD. Yeah. He's just hoping that interest rates are going to rise and he doesn't want to go on. So, is there fees involved with transferring it? There probably is. So, it wouldn't make it even less worth it. This is a union fact. That's a union. There would be no, there would be no uh, fees to transfer. No fees to transfer. No, I don't believe so. You, there isn't any other bank when you put it in front of them. How's everybody feel? Is it Copley Trust? No. Good one. Copley Trust, not a union bank. Yeah, Copley Trust is a union bank. It's, what? It's merchants, isn't it? Oh, it's merchants, yeah. that's right. No, it's no longer merchants, it's a community bank. Oh, right. I'm thinking of the other Copley. Right. Sorry. Yeah. The other Copley money is a union bank. I don't know. They were going to take it up a phone now. But I don't think it's not worth it. No. Just leave it where it is. I'll let it know. Yeah, probably. Six one half of the other. I think once interest rates 
thrive, then yes, yeah. definitely. And I just back to the dog park. Malia really wanted to be here tonight, but under the circumstances, she couldn't. But she just wanted to say thank you. That everybody. Thank her for the work she did. The presentation. Yeah. Is there any other business for Copley Trust? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? We're out of copy <laughs> trust and we are into the regular you, portion of the select board meeting. Do we have some people listening online or on the phone? I thought I heard a cough. This is Michael from Green Mountain Nexus, just recording for posterity. Great. Yeah, I thought I heard something. Just wanted to check. All right, next, do we have any changes or additions to the agenda? No. Okay. Next, approved minutes. The minutes of May 12th, 2020. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Community concerns. Do we have any community concerns tonight? I did something. Not, I know it was considered a concern. But we lost a, a really great gentleman. And uh, I don't know whether you can do the flag past that for him, but I think it would be a great deal if we could, and that's how we'll spend it. Yeah. I don't think we have the authority to do that anymore. Anyway. We don't have the authority to throw the flag. So my thoughts, I was hoping Denny would be here because Denny could connect, I bet, because I was not just Morristown, he's Lamar County, probably the whole state. I, I, I would like to see something like that happen if it's him, I don't know. Some sort of recognition. Yeah. Anybody got any ideas? I want to say he's going to be best. Great and, uh, that again, Brian? Harold Sterner. It's been over 70 years of firefighting in this county, and top, probably the vast majority of the more senior firefighters still in, in the service ground. <laughs> but uh, he taught the one Frank, Frank Lamont Fire School forever. Uh, Harold was just the name. If you talk about fire service in Vermont, Harold was like a job. Okay. He was a fire department. He was more than a fire department. I'll start summer rec here too when I was going back to do research for the town report. Mm. I'm pretty sure Arlo is one of the people that got um recreation in the fifties really going in more towns. Might be a good candidate. Would you like me to look Brian and sure. um seeing about the class? That would be good. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to contact the governor's office. Yeah. 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 He's the only one that can also. Yeah. Okay, we'll move on. Liquor control. Yeah. I have a motion to move on liquor control. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? We are now in liquor control. What do you have, Sarah? Let's just like some renewal. Yep, yeah, some renewal. Um, the tenth hall was just the uh, golf course. Um, Friday Brook, of course, um, and the Charlemont restaurant. The only new thing is um, the Charlemont is adding outside consumption, which they don't usually have because now there's new rules where if you want to have that outside seating, you need to get an outside consumption permit. So that's what that's for. You see any issues, Richard? No. There? No, no issues with the other one? No. I haven't been to Friday Brook a little bit to play golf. Outside consumption rules. Don't they have a deck? They have a deck, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that considered outside consumption if it's full tax at all? Um, and the reason this is saying no, <coughs> sorry, I probably should have made that more. They already got their outside consumption and they already got their um, first class license earlier before COVID happened. But because um, the third class is so expensive and they're just seasonal, they were waiting until after May 1st. With to do with the, the seasonal third class. So they've already done their outside. Okay. Do I hear a motion? 
Make a motion to approve both the uh, tent pole and the Tremont restaurant for the Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is passed. Make a motion to come out of the control. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? We are now out of liquor control. On to new business. Number one, request for internet vendor Thompson's Bakery.
You don't need to cluster at a full park. I mean, you know, and make recommendations about it. And I don't mind driving around and looking at all the different spots that I can see that from. And even up on the hillside, you know what I mean? So people understand you you don't need to come together. And I think if we do it so we don't have anything before, you know, we don't have a band, we don't have food and all that. So there isn't a cross the park. I think it's the only way it can work for more. But I think we should continue with the park. You can see those from a long distance off. I don't disagree with you at all, Trish. I would love to have a celebration for us. So what I'm concerned is Burlington's canceled there. Everybody around us is canceled. That means our fireworks display would draw. I that thought about that people. just the other day. And there's no way they could control those crowds. We can't put people counting numbers down with the park. I mean, I think, I think we're opening ourselves up. I think the liability could be really high on that. Yeah, everyone's saying, oh, more still have a name to go there. But like, I thought the same thing. Is there anything yeah. to do with that? If they didn't, I just heard the Burlington cancel and a few of us took out the display. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I fully understand if you fully want to cancel it and we say, okay, maybe, you know, let's see what September brings. Maybe we tell the fireworks something that, you know, maybe we can have some kind of festival in the fall that's a little bit different out of the ordinary. And we say, okay, we'll do fireworks this. Because they said it's canceled. Yeah, I'm sure they would love that. Yeah. 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 This company has been great short with it. In fact, it hasn't been something. So, um, yeah, I'm sure that they would love to do something like that. So maybe not. Maybe it wouldn't be the celebration of the end of COVID-19, but it might be a celebration that we got through it. Maybe October fest. <laughs> Believe me, there is a million things. You know, I mean, you all see the chairs coming out here. You know, you think about this. Hey, people are see, we auction off every year at October fest. I mean, they're already bitching like your chairs. Oh, get them together. Hey, maybe you can't sit that book. I understand, but I had to have a way that people could drop chairs out front. So just so you all know, they will be scattered all over our community as it goes, but we just don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Um I understand like I said, I postponed all music till after July. The first one was maybe July fifteenth. Uh if it could possibly happen, I think we just need to be addressed again in a couple weeks. But I did cancel everyone before that today. Okay. Yeah, staff, we talked about the parade. We didn't see any way that we could safely no. put together a parade. No. What do you think, Richard? Yeah, I didn't really like cancel there. Yeah. 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 I'm your vacation request. <laughs> 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 so you guys want to do stuff, make a, take an action on this? Or? Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to make a decision. I think we should. You need to call it one way or the other. Uh, I'm Go ahead, Eric. That's not a good one. I don't know if you can call it either, Eric. Roll the dagger. Roll the dagger. I make a motion that for 2020, we cancel our 4th of July fireworks celebration in the city. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Well, do we add anything on there to say that we will reconsider the fireworks for the next time? I, on my thought, duty was just that we could just discuss with uh, North Star. We can put one together. Uh, and we can maybe put a tentative date in there. I just don't want to hype the public and get their hopes up. And then next fall, you know, they're, they're calling for us a resurgence in the fall. So yeah. I think we can do something behind the scenes to try and reserve a date, but I don't want to throw the public in. Okay. So, do I need to throw the one about Sam the truck and vehicle in here? No. Thank you. Yeah. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. <clears throat> Discuss any other summer events? No. <laughs> yeah, are everybody comfortable with the Minister series being canceled until July 15th and then we'll just keep revisiting as we move forward? Yeah. 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 I mean, it's still in keeping the magic, you know, between myself and family members. You know, we've talked about possibly doing Friday movies at Astro Park and 
So, you know, you, you may hear some chatter up here this morning because I did need to reach out to people and see what people thought would even possibly feasibly happen. Nothing will happen until it comes back before you or back before you, both of you. So, you know, we, we have a common discussion about it, but there is chatter, just so you all know. Okay. All right, next, discuss outdoor seating for restaurants on Main Street. So Trish and I have talked about that, didn't she? Um, and of course right now, restaurants are trying to open back up and have some semblance of getting customers back. And one of the requests came to us to take the, the park beach spaces in front of the Arthur's complex and, and make that into outdoor seating for people. Um, there were some drawings that were passed around, but I think the safest thing that we could do would be to actually use our jersey barriers with the boards going to through it. So we, we have plenty of jersey barriers. We told Trish if they wanted to decorate them, you know, one side of them so that they're not just concrete as long as they're painted back to gray before we put them back out on the highway. Oh, wait, because we had to paint them back to gray? Yeah, we yeah, I did to say that. <laughs> oh, I just said that. <laughs> I, I remember really? that. It would be a contest like the Adirondacks here. Yeah, yeah. it would know. be really fun, dude. <laughs> You know, just it, we put a board consideration to, to help the businesses at least have something because those places over there really want a lot of trees to spread out. This to me is just something that we're doing short term. You know, once they can open up and have more customers eating inside, then this would go away. Or if snow flies and you have to have snow. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's weird if they can just till this summer. Yeah. Who knows when this summer, but yeah. for the summer months that, you know, even if they can open, they're, they're never going to have it where. You know, we're sitting this close together to the next person. Not this summer, I don't think. Yeah. Are we are we doing something with expanding the parking at the museum? Is that going to happen? Yeah, I'm hoping to get those parking spaces, the ones at the museum and the ones on the Warren property, done right. this year. Okay. So. But you don't have a timeline for that. I don't have a timeline for it. And it's nice because we're the hiring crew is, you know, they're getting back ahead. I think that's the perspective that I have once they got behind for a little while. Yeah. Lack of traffic and really allow them to cut back up on some priority projects. That's one of the things we've got to talk about. But if you were going to cordon off the spaces with Jersey barriers, it'd be nice to have an option to fall the back. The businesses are excited if we can do this. So we talked to Georgia Pizza and Black Cat. I mean, they they were all like, bring it on. How soon can you do it? So you it's, not, it's not it's not out of the not out Toro and and um, outdoor. outdoor. They already have outdoor. Okay. And um, um, Thompson does. Then we're going to close one part of the street. My thought was just close one side. Right. You know what I mean? Let's let's make this. Don't make it too narrow. Right, exactly. So would it be people would sit in the street or on the sidewalk? In the street. In the, in the parking places. Yep. Right. All right. And Moog, he has an outdoor space. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And he reads why. Personal path that they they are uh, temporarily closing this restaurant. They're running their one in job. Yeah, yeah really? so possibly. I went by there last night. They had 30 cars in a line, 100 yards long in the parking lot. Yeah, and it's only because they, they they don't have enough room to safely seat people in the distance in the park. So um, just for now, they're, they're not going to do takeout. What's that? They're not doing takeout anymore. No. Yeah, the location we went to last night. I don't speak for them, but well, I think it's I'm in order, we've been ordering for a different restaurant every weekend, so. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <clears throat> Do we want to make a motion about this, or? You I think you should. I was just, my only thought was pizza. I mean, they have, they have a very active uh, takeout. This is going to impact them. And but they would also they would still okay with them. love to have the seating out front. More than at one little table in between them. So. How far are we with this? Is just strictly in front of the Arcus block? Okay. I think there's four or five faces there. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only thing that we're going to have to coordinate is making sure that they still have access to that. Yeah. Right. And I think, you know, really, after it goes for you, we'll walk over and take a look and sort of think about how it could realistically work. I mean, I was like, hey, I got 12 vacant tables or nine vacant tables that I pull apart. Did you do? Bring a picnic table, you know, you can see four. Right. Uh, it, it would be what I'm looking to do, to be honest with you, is do it as inexpensively as possible so it really doesn't cost these business owners to pay anything out of pocket. And that's what Dan was like, well, we have Jersey Dairy, what are you thinking? Yeah. I was like, oh, that's yeah, from that's a safety point of view. Yeah. Yeah, from keeping separated from traffic and since the street is kind of wide out there, we can push 
safety model and we're going to let traffic get through. So, you know, that, that takes the safety factor, the Jersey barrier, that's what they're made for. It gives us some good separation from traffic. Do they get their orders for the front door or the back door? Who? Oh. Um, Eastbound, Main, and Blackstaff. Front door. Blackstaff is open? No, they haven't. Yeah. Not, not the food orders, but like uh, delivery? Uh, yeah, delivery. No, because I have been seeing them getting delivery. Front door. Front door pretty late at night. We just keep that in mind when it's just so they're not, the truck isn't there blocking traffic. May, that's May during. Oh, thanks. Oh, that reminds me to, I will get in touch with them and talk about it. All right, who wants to make a motion? So, I'll make a motion with the discussion of the quality of the But uh, I'll make a motion that we approve uh, the placement of Jersey barriers to allow in front of the Arthur's block for the parking spaces to be used for outdoor seating for restaurants. On a temporary basis? Temporarily. Yeah. Oh boy, now you're starting to add all those little things. Yeah, well, I don't want to put a date to it. What, uh, and I only say that because we can address that date at a different at a later time. Anytime. Do you want to put an end date? No, I'm saying, no. Oh, I'm saying we can bring that piece back yeah, up later absolutely. With, with the restaurant owners. And yep. So you wouldn't put it in front of the hairdresser? No. Just, that's why I just did our. Yeah, right. It's sort of the North Country case was really interesting. Oh. You know, they're the next one. So, can we can you leave it there? Possibly just a little bit that way, but we'll look at it for safety reasons. Because we do it, there's a people who live in that there's apartment there. Yeah. Well, we let law enforcement look at it and make sure you guys are happy. <clears throat> so, my other question: the Jersey Bears are great. Um, do we want to go to the extent of a temporary place to speed bump? Somewhere near the crosswalk uh, to slow traffic additionally because the seating is going to be so close to the travel lane. Well, seating is going to be behind the barrier, right? Yeah. 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 I, I'm just throwing it out there for discussion. Just, uh, the traffic doesn't come flying through there anyway later in the evening when there's class traffic, maybe, but it's not like a huge speeding concern. I just, uh, Aaron went by the caution. If you narrow the force of the jury barriers, that narrow the head of the jury barriers. Yeah, there's enough sight that's coming around the corner. Yeah. Nobody can narrow that up. That's what I was saying today. We just push their valve a little way so that you can narrow things up there. Yeah, you're thinking of placing the jersey barriers on the outside of the parking lot. Yeah, the parking spaces. So you're yeah. going to have right. two feet more sticking yeah. out in the travel lane. Right. Yeah. right. And the lanes are plenty wide enough to do right. that there. So, yeah, that will, I would send it to the full people now. Is there any further discussion about it? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Thank you. Next, property tax collection, Sarah. So, um, I just dropped off updated reports as of today. Um, this is this like simple spreadsheet kind of looking at the past three years where we were in collection on May 15th, May 20th, uh, May 21st, and then today. And then I just, um, on the right hand side, I'm comparing like where we were for last year. And I don't, and then underneath, I have the total tax collected so you can see we collected 800,000 more. Than last year, so that's another factor to take um, in yeah. effect. But I don't think that overall um, there was a big reduction in people not paying their taxes in time. I think by the time the governor signed it's too late, too late. the legislation, we, um, which was on the 14th in the evening, we didn't get the word out until the 15th in the morning. Most people had. Take their taxes. Let's nice try. Nobody calls the hardship. Um, I had one email today that somebody, um, not necessarily paying their past taxes, they are more concerned about paying future taxes and wanting a reduction. No, I mean, there were people that, tons of people called before the 15th. I started getting some calls in early April. 
thousand um, in funds from the state and FEMA, and mm -hmm. of that, um, it was 151,000 that were vendor expenses. So the difference of the two is going to um, it's 43,000 dollars that we will be paying for in fee and house expenses. And so, of course, we can find out about them that's going to be over, and we can submit to that. Right. That's good news. So if the if the um, Mud City Loop um, project is approved, then this is forty three thousand that we could put in to manage this, right? So if the if the hundred and ninety, well, it's an estimate, I believe, right? right. I mean, because we right. don't know what the actual cost is going to the cost are going to be. But if they do, and people are those are right now, they're not doing site visits. But when they do um, their site visit and they approve it, then we would be able to submit to that, and then FEMA will pay seventy five percent. And the state would pay seven point five percent of the total expense. I know after all your out of pocket expenses were forty three thousand dollars to be good. Right. So um, I just want everybody to, to understand too with the Mud City Loop Bridge, you know, don't get your hopes up. Right. We talked about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's gonna the, the age of the structure, you know, the condition of the structure, FEMA's not likely to come in and and fund it at a 75 to 80%. Right. So, you know, if they give they give it something. That's my hope. But overall, um, and then the, the state code road is the reason why that's um, off by itself is because the state code road is actually a federal funded highway. So we get 100% of all of our costs back on that one. So. And that was about 20,000. Yeah. Does it come back from FEMA? It comes back from federal highway. Through the state to us at 100%, not the not the state reimbursement so, But cash wise, you know, we, we our expenses, our labor and all that stuff, of course, we make up for everything, but a big portion of our labor and our pay. So overall, you know, really good. And take out fuel and everything else, we probably broke even. So, can't ask for even. Yeah, can't ask for better than that. Considering. <clears throat> But you know, we were looking at because we, we delved a lot into our you know, our reserves to pay for that. At the end of the day, our reserves will actually grow a little bit out of that. So. Yeah. Where are we sitting right now with reserves? I don't know. I mean, it, it's it's stuck close to the end of the year. We're going to wind up and we fight okay. all those final checks. But you know, we were probably at a half a million or so, something like that. Yeah, and this, you know, this money's not in the bank yet. It's still, you know, the, it's the preliminary discussion for FEMA. They have denied any of our repairs. It's still got to go, you know, through the FEMA, you know, hierarchy, then down the state, and the state is going to actually cut the check. So it'll be a while before we see the money, but you know, it's, it's moving in the right direction. I think is the best way to say. All right. <clears throat> Next, approve warrants. Motion to approve the warrant. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So passed. Eric, there's one of these papers that doesn't have your signature. I thought I got them all. Brian corrected me the first time. Okay. <laughs> TA report. Um, everybody's back to work now. We're going back to work. We're still out of the public. Um, Donnie Blake is in more work in Sarah's office to get that ready right now. And you guys have your computers and stuff coming in. So really not ready for prime time yet. Um, but but soon we should be. I think my plan, um, I talked a little bit with Sarah's. We're still not gonna allow access to the full building just because we don't have the camera to really maintain it and take care of it. Like the bathrooms aren't gonna be public like bathrooms. The meeting room is still gonna be closed off. You know, we're gonna try to, to limit everybody. 90% of the traffic comes in from out of the clerk's office anyway or top's office. Um, so we're really gonna to, to limit access once we do open, um, and then just take it from there and move forward. And we'll just we get something along we we'll get to the end. I really wanted to, you know, what's the concern about are these public bathrooms? My thought is no, they're not public bathrooms right now. We just don't have the capability to keep cleaning them, maintaining them, and taking care of staff wise, but we can't do those other things um, that we do need to, need to do to keep the employees safe. So, from that perspective, we're all back. Um, and hopefully soon we'll be able to open up 
and they left some people in for essential kind of businesses that we need to allow the public to do. Um, wanted to ask the board, and maybe it's not this meeting, but I need to get an RFP out soon for baby for next fiscal year. Um, talked about a, a bunch of different paving projects. I know one of Kevin's priority is finishing out that section of the Katie's Falls between Morristown Corners, or stage coach between Morristown Covers and Katie's Falls. That has not been paved in a number of years. Um, and it needs to be paid. Um, we have about $270,000 right now in paving funds once the fiscal year kicks over. Um, you know, they didn't know what the board of preferences were for paving. In the past, I've been doing that, you know, finishing out Randolph Road. I know a lot of people have talked about that one section on Randolph Road down. That was the section we added in of 700 feet. That was just a shim there last year. Right. That was not an overlay. It was just a shim to take some of the roughness out of it. It helped. It, and, you know, so, yeah, it's going to do some different things in that area. But, you know, that wasn't a final layer of asphalt on the back. Because we wanted to do something with it for that year. And we didn't know asphalt was kind of hard to judge. We actually got a good price on asphalt we came last year, but we can't always pop it. So I didn't know what the board's thoughts were um, on what you want to see paid. You're talking roughly enough money for somewhere between two and two and a half miles of road. So Zerk Dummy and I had a discussion back and forth with Dave Cole. They tried to increase their budget. I asked them not to do that and then they told me, yeah, we're good. Um, I did however go out back after and I didn't promise them we were going to do that such a row. I said we'd look at what we were going to pay. After the town meeting came up, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I went out and I looked. And I, I drove Randolph Road like the road. And then I drove back section of road. And without a doubt, the section of road from the Morristown Corners down to uh, Miller Bridge is in worse shape than the Randolph Road section. Yeah. It's going to take more than a cattle pavement to fix the corner by uh, back Miller Road. That corner is horrible. So it's not just the cost of the payment, it's also the work that our guys are probably going to have to do to prep the site. So definitely, if I, if I had to make the, the choice of one or the other, I would definitely err on the side of the, the, the section up towards the more uh, more. The section that was done on Randolph, was that between um, Fitzgerald and Pearl Gray? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying that was only a... There was a separate section we did on down. Um, it was from Fitzgerald Road on. Fitzgerald yeah. down? Yeah. Or towards? No, toward the other way. We did we did the mile. The, the toward Belfort. Yeah. We we did a mile there, and then we, we stopped, mm -hmm. and we went on down to mm -hmm. about a 700 foot section. Yeah. So that that first mile we did, mm -hmm. right, going out to the, to right. the dip. To the the dip. We did a mile, and we stopped, and we went down to about 700 feet. That was all kind of breaking up. Right, Andy yeah. Belcourt's field there, yeah. yeah exactly. I, you guys know the name of the field. So, <laughs> so that's area, that area we just did shim on. The other area we did okay. shim and overlay. Okay, so that section isn't finished yet. Correct. Okay, good to know. Yeah. I've been getting good questions. Need to do. Yeah. And we did that because it was pothole and so bad right. you know, that we, we couldn't do anything with it anymore. So we did a shim on it just to we spread it. I keep thinking about uh, the section, just actually Howard's parking lot there. You know, we've we've had conversations with him about it. He, I know he does a lot for us, so it was been in my mind, you know, to get that paved. That is very very rough. Where the old top well, the old I was gas put a plug in for that whole. I mean, yeah, Munson Avenue is absolutely horrible. It is, and Harold Street. There's so much traffic out there now. That More than the uh, village. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There, there's a ton of and truck, big, heavy truck traffic. All day long. All day, all day, yeah. half the night. They're down there, down through there. And yeah. At least, <clears throat> I would think Harold Street out past the industrial park. Maybe even all of Harold Street. Yeah. We Real, did the industrial that, park. That, that, that's yeah, good. the industrial park is good. But you're right, Harold Street. North Avenue, 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 Northgate Avenue, and Munson Avenue. Yeah. After Howard had talked to us about that, Northgate Avenue, whatever it's called, I went over and drove across it. I was like, oh my God, it's terrible. Oh, I don't God. have any links on that to get an idea of what it is. You know, like I said, I think the, the section of stagecoach you know, is about three quarters of a mile, somewhere in there. Um, something like that, right in that area. 
So I could do some measurements and could come up and try to get my thoughts to try to and maybe try to get months or Harold Street out to the industrial park. Yeah. And then months in a month and a half mile, mile maybe. You can I measure. Can, yeah. I can get I can measure it for you if you'd like. Yeah, I can have the highway around the trip for me and then do North Cape, see if I can put together to, to do those things. And North Cape. Yeah, that's Maybe a tenth and a half, tenth and a half, yeah. five, six, seven hundred feet. Maybe. So if we do all those, we do that all together, it gets better business than it yeah. is. Is that for this summer? That's for this summer. Yeah, yeah uh, we the go there. North Cape one doesn't touch on these work before you see it, right? Where's that? Where the fuel gas station was, you know, oh. the wicked dip there, the trip to tank town. Yeah. Do you know about that? And there's the wicked spot I don't, there. I don't know why. It was never compacted right or something. Oh, well, it was it sunk and sunk and sunk. Found it and found it. Yeah, put that back in there. I mean, Full and all the big truck roller and yeah. everything in there. Wonder if it that hole and I have no idea why. But Still a wicked hole. Of course, not like you said, all the truck traffic goes through there. And Sometimes you probably have a wicked hole and it never built in too. Yeah. I mean, it just. I mean, it probably would warrant taking, you know, taking that section of blacktop out and, and filling that with the gravel before they. Something before they bathe it, at least you know, get it back up to some semblance of grade. All right. All right, I'll take a look and, and see if I can't put together some sort of estimate and do it. So, the the last piece of stage coach, Jim and the overlay, North Gate, more step corners, then Munson, Munson, Munson. Yeah. and then Harrow Street. As much as I go to on Harold Street from that. Yeah, let's say Harold Street, at least out to the industrial park or to yeah. uh, uh, County. And they, what's the next? Oh, next on uh, Lake Leo's Welding. Leo's Welding. Pool Avenue. Avenue. Pool Avenue. Yeah, maybe up to that. Is that what the board to work towards? Along the line? Are we not looking at more stuff for the section? Yeah. That's, that's like seven, ten, eight, ten, 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 ten. Well, if you go to the store, yeah. I'm thinking around the <laughs> corner. We can measure all of those and then we'll try to yeah. the puzzle. Yeah. yeah. All right. I like that. Then I'll come back and find out for the next. Yeah. All right. Yep. Sounds good. Now we're doing a little bit more of a. It sounds like a lot to fit into the two hundred seventy thousand dollar price. <laughs> <laughs> like Brian says, it'll give us a chance to go drive them and look yeah. at them ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Then you know, just based on adding up in my head. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just stretch a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I was wondering about the shoulders of Randolph where they did do. Just get them from sixty to seventy. <laughs> okay. Quarter inch. Well, you know, a lot of that. I mean, you can buy a lot of time with a couple inches, a couple inch overlay. Yeah. yeah. Depending yeah. on the road, what the road needs. Yeah. yeah. We are going to have snow at some point. Reclaimed. Yeah. Right. I've been reason with my daughters now moved in their house up in uh, Mormon Road, so I'm traveling to Garfield Road. A lot. And I would say Garfield Road. They can yeah. My truck is not ours. Get found by a lot of truck traffic, and they are showing that that is one that's probably going to need to be grinded and can be paved. Yeah, that would need to be reclaimed. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I know when uh, we did that last time, I think there's eight inches. I think about eight inches of asphalt through there because of all the heavy traffic. Yeah. Yeah. Not this year, but, so. you, you brought that up. I'm wondering. Buckwheat mentioned in our last meeting that they're going to have to traffic coming off 100 because of the construction. On to Randolph. I mean, there's there's nothing. I know there's, anything, there's nothing we can do about it, but there's nothing we can do to get the state to pitch in to help pay no, for the road. Been trying to do that for decades. <laughs> yeah, and I don't I don't think you're seeing much of that. I've been traveling the road you know once a day or so. I don't think you're seeing much of heavy truck traffic going around state. I, I, I think that most of the traffic. Yeah, you guys have the traffic out there. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm seeing it a lot. Like yeah. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're going on the Cochran Road. I'm, Dusty, isn't it, there? <laughs> yeah. Todd said, you know what I know there. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. I just noticed a lot more traffic. Yeah. Were they going on stagecoach down Gulf? Yeah, they cut. Cut across. They cut top around the stage. Oh, okay. You don't see many heavy truck traffic up that way, are you? Oh, yeah. Um, Percy. Yes. Percy. Well, yeah, they're pissed right now. But not all. Oh, you're.
you heard out there too now. Yeah. No, more regular, more regular stuff. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. What else you got, Dan? Um, you know, just follow up, you know, just we, of course, we have the Act 250 pre hearing about a month and a half ago, just so I know if we have not got any direction from the yet. Um, Tyler is asking when we're going to see something that we have everything. So we're still pushing to see what's out there. Tyler's still working on the, uh, the small water permit that we we'll see last week. Do that, but that's going. That's a pretty straightforward permit. Yeah, I don't think they're going to go for anything special from us. So as far as anything from the Act 250 period, we haven't heard anything from them yet. You really think they're going to do anything until they do the site walk? They're going to do a site walk up there. Yeah. Um, but we haven't heard from them when they want to do it or how they want to do it. You know, it's it's their their agenda and yeah. set. And well, we have part of the problem probably is that they're not allowed to go out more than one person at a time. State actually is, you know, that we had three members, four members of the state last week do the small mark. So they're starting to listen to that. Because so, I tried to get them on a project in Northside Park and yeah. they we, wouldn't come out. Yeah, we had three, I think it was three last week we had up one. So two. maybe they're beginning to loosen up a little bit. They're beginning to loosen up, I think. So, but we haven't heard anything, you know, about this is what we want to do. Smith, these are our concerns. Nothing formally has come out of this from, from that pre hearing. So everybody knows that PPP, we have heard everything. No, so we can wait for their depth and look at the site there and do with that. In my personal opinion, I, I would if I was them. So I got a, a visual on what I'm talking about. Max don't do it for me. When they get a visual, then they'll be able to understand what we're saying and what they'd be able to understand. So on the good note, is Kevin's pretty confident we can get up to get up. The village stand is already put up, so they're already put in there. Um, and he's pretty confident we can get up stand for the highway. Um, out of there for next winter. So there's no rattle per se. It's, you know, we'll come out of it, but we're still good on stand for another year. Well, it's probably very right. tight. Some of that stuff this year had some big old chunks of play in it. Yeah, it did. And, you know, I think he found some reasonable product to come out of it. So you know, he's up there running around. And of course, we, we had to push down banks. We found someone who pushed down the bank. So um, you know, there, there, there'll be enough for the winter, we hope. So I don't think we're going to have to buy anything. Really about it. Um, if they were starting to slowly, hopefully get back to normal down here. Great. Any questions for Dan? Thanks, Dan. Next, select board concerns. Judy. I have a couple. Um, how would you like me to report back from the LCPC? Would you like me to? Yeah, I think it would be great to report back um, anytime you have a meeting, just so we know what's going on. All right, here's there's something coming up, and I didn't bring my notes, so I'm, I'm not going to be really clear about it's a uh, community broadband. Yeah. And we're, we're, we and Stowe are the only two communities in Loyal County who aren't a part of it. Someone from the organization can come in and speak to the board about it to see if you want to join. And I would rather have that person come because I don't feel well versed in explaining the whole thing. That's fine. I think that's fine, right? Okay, so I can invite her. Come to the next. Yeah. Meeting. All right. Have you had a meeting yet? Yes, two times. Yeah. Two times. Yeah. Everything. Everything's fine. Okay. Yeah. You just cleaned out, didn't you? you want <laughs> it's rather boring. <laughs> it's not exciting, which is I was expecting like. As long as it's not hostile. I thought there's gonna be a lot of controversy and stuff, and it's like, eh. like okay, and it's all been it's very been you know, maybe an hour and it's all um, you know, virtual, so we're not. Right. So I don't I'm trying to get to know who these people are. Right. Faces and check Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. Zoom yeah. So, and I just, I just, but given the um, the atmosphere, what's going on nationally, and I just thought if, if there was some way you could address, um, so the community knows what we have a what we do here, what we have available, so that. A situation like that isn't going to happen here. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not being critical. I just would like no. to be like up front. Uh, would you be like it when you know, maybe you know, trust the video or I think they know we're all trained. Yeah. They're like, put them in the paper. You know, well, like this is just the end. You know, we review everything. You know, this is. 
What the, what happened out there in our uh, arrest office? They just bawled that guy. They just, he killed him. Right. So it's not even close to anything to do. I'm frustrated that they think that's what they need to do. Because that's, that's 25 years ago. That's 30 years ago. Yeah, Rodney King. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I don't know if I want to reach that too much. Because it's like, really a non issue. Well, I think just what the statement you made just there is um, very profound. Right. You know, it, it says a lot about your thinking oh, about yeah. the department. And I think that's an important to, to share right. with the community. I didn't, I didn't, I just wanted the community to know that we are thinking about it, we're talking about it, right. we're not dismissing it like it didn't well, happen. Well, Richard, I suggested to you before the meeting, the uh, President of the current, the current president of the Chiefs of Police Association wrote right. a very eloquent letter. Yeah. And a lot of Tinton County agencies. Yeah. That might be something to put in the newspaper. I, well, I think yeah. that's impressive. Well, I mean, I know a couple of chiefs from Tinton County have gone and said uh, we completely agree with the, right. this letter, that type of thing. Some of the feedback on the bottom of that is a little bit more what specifically are you doing? And then those chiefs are talking about the specific training we've been right. doing. For Right. Uh, that people just aren't aware of. It. Right. It's just don't know. PT, they just, you know, they're ahead of it. They've been out of video. Most of them do it already. Yep. So, just reaffirming what we've been doing for years. Yeah. Yes. So we just want to make sure everybody's aware of that. So, yeah. I think it'd be nice to have, like, a thank you because, you know, we're really lucky, all of our law enforcement in the whole county. Is very highly trained and very professional, and we would never see anything like that. You no, know, I've never seen anything like that. No, no question asked. With the people that I know. Right. So, well, even for the county, county boy. Boy. But, you know, yeah. if they're not supervised, you know, it's going to happen. Right. You know, but that, that type of a situation is. We, it's been, yeah, well, I've been at it 35 years. Well, it's probably been 30 years that it's been no no question about it. You know, positional 50 to, you know, I don't want to stomach for a very long period of time. You certainly don't sit on them. Right. Much less put your knee on the back of your neck. I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, mm -hmm. it's it. You know, it's too bad that that was, you know, it's too bad that people react so negatively yeah. to that one. No, I can put something out. I, I've been kind of, we've been cheating listening to what anybody says in public. I haven't heard anything. No, I haven't either, but I just, <clears throat> um, well, being proactive with it, just saying, yeah. we, we, no, we I, take I this expect, seriously. And, yeah. I expect that uh, I'll document it. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. All right, thank you. No problem. Here. You got Say the only concerns that I had earlier was, you know, just put a plug for saving some of those streets on the north end there for heavy truck traffic. Yeah. Stuff. That's good. Before the, I have to turn it back to there. Some of it. Yeah. Right. Here. Brian. I'll say. Here. Uh, just a, a thank you to the, the program that helps winding down with the proto. Thank you to our emergency services folks. They have done. And I'm counting well up with smiles to the children's faces around our community uh, with the birthday drive by. Uh, I, I know several children that have just absolutely loved it, have been a recipient of it, and I think it's just a fantastic thing for everybody to be involved in. I think it was a wonderful thing to do that. Um, I, just, I saw the other day that the uh, solar project is begun to bring the ground down on the water. Yeah. And David smiles. <laughs> is that where the Hess's place was or not? Sure, just further down? Beyond the Jova Witness place. Just beyond the stand for the throw. Oh, okay. A big side. field. Yeah. Yeah. You two persons trucks and equipment out there. Oh, wow. Okay. That's all the night. Exactly. Oh, I know. I thought that's one that we were going to be going forward. Um, what is the plane? Where is the plane? Where is the plane? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, That's the one between 
Go. And that's it. I don't have anything. Is there any other business? Um, I just wanted to ask so your original motion for the dog placed these through um, May thirty first, which was yesterday. I just before I go and start late fees, I wanted to make sure you were all okay with that date still. I paid mine, didn't I? <laughs> you think there are a lot of people who are doing this? Um, yeah, but in all honesty, there's usually a lot of people that are okay. doing this. The late fees are like two dollars, so it's not. It's not a big it's deal. such a random date and such a Vermont thing, especially people that here. I'm Is there a lot of people that paid? Have it? They're not current. You don't know. Um, we're probably about halfway through. Yeah, it's funny. I've talked to two or three people over the weekend. And said they haven't paid their dog license because they always wait for the delinquent notice. Yeah, <laughs> that's and I have to say, we usually have so many. Really? Like, well, there's staff that hasn't paid their. Like, <laughs> I may have had to remind you on you know, Friday, like, you got to pay your dog. Super well, <laughs> divulging all the secrets. <laughs> I'm now a dog owner. <laughs> and um, I, I'm going to have to pay the delinquent fee because our dog has to be sedated in order to get the shot. Uh, and we, can't, get, we can't get into the vet because they've been shut down. So we have to make an appointment to get in there to stay in so we can get a treatment. I've heard that, that there's people having that. So I just wanted to check and see if there was anything. We only have, I think, one rabies clinic in the spring. We only even get one in here. So I'm going to have to count. I think we were one of the only towns to actually get to have theirs, and ours was so early, nobody even went. Yeah, even that's why we went to Eden with our own Was there an early one? The other thing is um, our land record system, we uh, we signed a contract like nine months ago or something, and, switched, um, and we switched over this week somewhat we, <laughs> as best as we can. Um, this has been having some remote training. so. Um, we have it on our staff computers, but we're still working on getting the public because of boxes um, of computer systems. But we're in the process of that, and we'll be announcing it to the public. But it's been great. So we've been getting a lot of compliments that all of our land records are online, back to the 50s, all of our survey maps, um, all the things that you can get on the website, like the listers cards and the tax maps, and that. People have been very happy for the most part. There's still stuff that they need um, us to help them with, but most people can get a lot of personal reviews um, online. And not a lot of towns have that, so people have been grateful. Sarah, where did we ever end up on the uh, cemetery mapping spot? Um, COVID hit, and I haven't, today was Elizabeth's first day back, so um, anything like I'm been day by day just trying to do the daily stuff. Mm -hmm. Anything like that I've not had any time. So pursue. To be continued. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any other COVID made me realize we needed even more though. And as much as we can get those kind of records and public access online and can work work remotely. Yeah. Just a point of interest I see on the news that Last meeting, we were talking about the rec program in the city of Rutland this year has increased theirs. They, wow. they went to four different sites than they usually do so that they can increase the amount of kids because they've all been cooped up so long and haven't been able to get out. So I thought it was interesting when we were talking about it or last time that we couldn't find anybody to do it. And here we got a city that's they're expanding there as opposed to going in parallel. Do they have a paid rec department? I think they do. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But just, but, yeah. And my, they, did, uh, yeah. they did when I lived there 20 years ago. So it's not my granddaughter and, and uh, her son went to daycare first first day back this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, she texted Shelly this morning and said she was bumming out and said, 
Ethan didn't even care who we left. He, said. <laughs> he, was, he was so happy to get back to that camper. <laughs> they were worried about him being all upset having to leave him. Yeah, yeah, he was single right now. Not to have to put up with him, I think. <laughs> Well, the other thing I was going to mention is that uh, Concept 2 still has like a quarter million masks if anybody needs them. I brought in a box of 50, but if anybody needs some, we're we're giving them out. All right. Yeah, you can actually. Or text me and I'll let you. Know. <laughs> I'll throw them out the window. Put in the brown bag. If I can give you a box of 50, I can get like, what, what are they doing? Storing them in your office? That way you're promoting it? Yeah. So Johnny, it's my office is still open. Johnny can start and come back tomorrow. Oh, cool. Yeah. Our project. Hopefully by the next meeting. Nice. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Go back.